Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 3rd of October 2019 and the time has just gone 11.20 British summer time. And this week's Chart of the Week is the Australia 200. And if you take a look at the price action throughout 2019, we can see at the, mar at the market made a major recovery uh, for the first, uh, say, half of the year. Had a major move to the upside here in July. In late July, uh, in, in early August, like many global stock markets, endured a fairly large sell-off. But since then, uh, between mid to late August and it running up until uh, late, late September, we did see a fairly sizable recovery, only for the market to turn lower yet again. And if you take a look at yesterday's candle, it's, it's extremely, it shows the, uh, the magnitude of a major sell-off that we saw yesterday. And this wasn't... Uh, just unique to the Australia 200, uh, we saw a major sell-off in the FTSE 100, which closed below its 200 moving average. We saw the DAX close below the 12,000 mark, and over in the US, we saw the S&P 500 close below the 2,900 mark. So, the uh, as, as Dow theory tells us, the averages must confirm each other. And seeing as the Australia 200 uh, is, is, has endured a major sell-off, and other major stock market indices endured major, major sell-offs. We can be more confident that the overall bearish sentiment is here to stay in the near term. Now, if you do manage to, uh, we've had a fairly subdued session today, uh, but let's not forget that, that the market has endured a major sell off. We saw a steady swing from positive momentum into negative momentum, negative momentum, which is, which is rising here on the MACD indicator. Um, if you do manage to take out the recent, uh, the lows of today, of today, and if you do manage to press on lower, we could be looking at targeting this area here, down around the 6,400 region, down to 6,400, down to 6,356, 6, this zone here. And if, you take, and if you take out the lows of August, we could be looking at heading back towards this red line here, the 30 moving average, and that comes into play at 63.42. Now, financial markets don't move in straight lines. So what we could see is we could see a bit of a bounce back uh, potentially before the next uh, possible move lower. Now, if you take a look at what happened in August, we saw a severe sell-off in, uh, in early August. And then immediately after that sell-off, we, we did see a bounce back toward this area here in around 6,400 before the market moved lower yet again. So we might see something similar here, whereby the market might rebound and pull back some of yesterday's losses Potentially head back up toward this zone here, 6,600. Uh, we can see that acted as both resistance and support in the not distant past. Also, that region isn't too far away from this blue line here, the 50 moving average, which comes into play at 66.14. And this, this line here, the 100 moving average, that comes into play just south of 6,600. Now, both of those met metrics in the, last, in the last few months have acted as the support in the past. So it's possible, it's possible that previous support could become new resistance. So you might see a bounce back toward this zone here for potentially having another leg to the downside. Um, if, on the other hand, the market does manage to make a recovery and we push firmly uh, above the 50 moving average again, we could be looking at retargeting the highs of September. And if you take off the highs of September, then we could be looking at retesting the highs of July. Now, if you are going to trade the Australia 200, it is worth keeping an eye out for the um, it is worth keeping an eye out for the Australia retail sales, which are due off tomorrow. As are the as are the um, the Australian financial stability report. But most importantly, is the is the U.S. non-farm payrolls webinar. Uh, non-farm payrolls uh, non-farm payrolls event uh, takes place tomorrow at 13:30 British summer time. And here at CMC Markets. My colleague Michael Houston is hosting a live webinar, uh, which will cover uh, the, the reaction to the numbers. Uh, feel free to sign up for that on our website. It's under cmcmarkets.com, under insights, under webinars uh, and events, you will see it. Um, and if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on your reviews. Thank you very much.